Thank you for choosing What's Next Blogging. I'm Ellery Wells, and in this video, I just wanted to give you a tour of WordPress. You know, so many times people install WordPress and they're gung ho and they're excited about starting their blog or building their website and business, and then they get into the tools and they just have a question. You know, how do I do this? You know, I, I just can't understand. I can't navigate. And while WordPress is fairly user friendly, and honestly, it's one of my favorite tools that I've used for for building a, a blog and a website. Uh, it, it is a little bit intimidating if you don't know where to start. So as we normally do, here we are at the dashboard. Yours will look a little bit different as you have more or less widgets on the front page here. And you probably won't have any of these buttons here at the top. These are just information pieces. Um, you know, go to the settings page for a new plugin that I had installed. Uh, this one is thank you for installing this plugin. I can dismiss that one. Um, and then, of course, this bottom one here is uh, I just installed a new plugin, and this other one, which is the W3 Total Cash, says, uh, you know, you, you've done something, so let's empty the cash and change your Minify settings and things like that, just so that just so that your users get a a uh, nice experience. And your dashboard might have some interesting statistics. It looks like on Saturday I got a pretty big spike in traffic. Don't know exactly what that, what happened there. But since we're just launching this site, um, any number can look uh, can look pretty big. The next thing that you want to review over here on the left side is the Jetpack. Jetpack is a free tool that is provided by the makers of WordPress. If you have not yet connected your Jetpack to WordPress.com, I would highly suggest that you do that. Doing so gives you additional widgets and options down here, and I'll highlight a few of those right now. By activating the Jetpack, you will see things like the contact form. You can add a contact form pretty easily to any page or blog post, and by connecting the Jetpack to WordPress, you can do that. One thing that Jetpack also gives you is this ability to share or this sharing thing. You can connect your Facebook, Twitter, Google+, LinkedIn, and a couple other things, I think, there, or allow people to share those on those networks by adding sharing buttons to your posts and pages it makes it easier for people to share your stuff i have found that without making it easy most people won't go through the extra effort to copy and paste your link into their thing and then hit send and up just make it easy by connecting jetpack and doing the sharing i do want to scroll back up here and say since i use the discuss plugin i do not use the jetpack comments also, since I use MailChimp for my email subscriptions, I don't use this subscriptions over here on the left side. That's really a subscription to your connection with WordPress. You can't import or export your email list. And as we all know, or if you might not have heard, the money is in the list. Turn that off because it's not easy. Again, you can't you know send any graphics or anything like that your emails go out exactly when you hit publish not necessarily when you want them to or when your readers uh, want to be receiving emails you can't even track to see who opens them or doesn't open them or what buttons they click when they do so turn that off and use a, a service like aweber constant contact mailchimp something like that I would suggest that you add in spelling and grammar. Make sure that's turned on. That will spell check all of your posts and pages before uh, or when you hit publish and before they go live. Just as a side note, you should do that to your emails too. If you're using Gmail or Outlook or something like that, make sure you turn on spell check. Uh, it just adds a level of professionalism that's too easy to pass up. I should have another video about your Google Plus authorship or enable, enabling Google authorship, that's not necessarily tied to this plugin right here, so you don't have to worry about it. The mobile theme, if you have a responsive theme like all of the ones that I recommend from Studio Press, you don't necessarily need this, but if you don't, this is kind of an easy way to skin your, your website for mobile. It doesn't look that great though, not my favorite. One thing that I would make sure that you do is enable custom CSS. You can deactivate it or, or activate it, and that's what 
CSS stands for custom style something or another, but it just allow it allows you to do some extra tweaks uh, of your code. If you're an advanced user and you use my advanced tutorials, you'll definitely want to make sure that custom CSS is turned on. Connecting your Jetpack to WordPress.com also gives you extra sidebar widgets. The Photon that you see here is a content delivery network. It serves up your images from WordPress, uh, from WordPress's, it's a funny word, WordPress's servers. But there is a limit on the size of the image that you can use. You'll want to test that out on your own site to make sure that that works for you. And of course, this enhanced di distribution, it's supposed to ping ser services that say you've updated, updated a new blog post or page and you know come index my site if you have the wordpress seo plugin by yoast you don't necessarily need that we'll scroll back over here to the top if you go to the posts and the post tab and the pages tab function almost exactly the same they give you the title of your page or post the categories that it's under and any tags you might have used and uh, the date that it was published you can you can sort and filter these uh, and see all of the information that you have over time. Pages would do the exact same thing. We'll, we'll, we'll skip that. Under media here, you can see all of the images that you have uploaded to your website. If you go into one of these, I'll just click that and if you want to link to this image in a blog post or page you'll want to look for this URL over here on the right side it's this file URL uh, that you'll be pasting that you'll be pasting in there this permalink not what you want file URL that is what you want comments this is where you'll find tucked away the discuss plugin downloads this is a plugin called Easy Digital Downloads that I use. Uh, whenever you buy a video, the link to download that video and the password to give you access to the, the premium content to stream the video so you don't have to download it or give you access to the comments or any code that might be mentioned in those videos. Easy Digital Downloads sends you that information, again, the link and the password to give you access to that. Feedback, we'll skip right over that. Portfolio. This is something that's built into my theme. It's very theme specific, but it's what allows me to per, to show you the videos in the format that I do. If you use the Genesis framework, and if you're interested in getting the Genesis framework, you can go to whatsnextblocking.com slash studio press. And studio press is where you will find the, the Genesis framework. It's like the frame of your car. It makes things sturdier. It's clean code that makes your website load faster. I would highly recommend that. Under the appearance, under customize, that's where you can customize your specific theme. Widgets, where you can change the layout of your site and you know, move the widgets around. The menus is where you can create custom menus. I have a tutorial for that as well. Edit the CSS, you can do that or you can click down to the editor file. Genesis gives you the option to add a custom header and you would do that right here. But this page in general gives you a layout of all of the themes that you have installed on your WordPress installation. I honestly do not know if they slow down your load times if you have several themes installed. I do not know that. Over here on plugins, that red one here, the orange one, shows you that I have one plugin that needs to be uploaded. But here's where you can manage all of your plugins, see what you have installed. And if you wanted to add a new one, you just click on this button right there. Plugins and widgets are not the same thing. I had a client ask me that. Plugins sometimes give you widgets, but plugins are just additional tiny pieces of software that plug right in to WordPress and give you additional functionality. Something kind of like my easy digital downloads or my WordPress SEO or my opt-in skin or my affiliates. Those are all plugins. If you wanted to manage your user settings, all of that's done here. Um, just to give you a hint, 
this is in this area is also where you enable Google authorship. That'll be right here under your profile. There's a video that shows you how to do that as well. Tools, I very seldom use this. If you're wanting to migrate to a new website, you can export your WordPress installation here. You can also back up your WordPress installation here. Under settings, some of the plugins uh, give you a tab under settings. Some of them give you a tab under the main dashboard. So you see uh, a, a few of the plugins I have in there, and, and these are this is right where you would go in and make that tweak. WordPress SEO, there's a tutorial on that. Opt-in skin, at the, I may do a recording on that if people are if people request it. If you do need one, just let me know, and uh, I'll give it to you for free. That's only counts for the first person. Everybody else, uh, it'll cost them a couple dollars. The Affiliates Pro plugin is what allows me to offer an affiliate commission for people referring uh, people to, to the videos if you are interested in becoming an affiliate. There is a link at the very bottom of whatsnextblocking.com where you that says affiliates, and you can log in and create an account there. In Relate, that's the plugin that shows you uh, you know, you might also be interested in, and then it gives you icons of other blog posts on your site. Pretty Link is something that's incredibly useful. Uh, for example, if I wanted to give you or track use uh, track people going to certain links instead of my really long and complicated affiliate link for. GoDaddy, I can simply give you what's next blogging.com slash GoDaddy and Pretty Link takes care of the rest and it forwards those forwards you or anyone who goes to that link to those URLs. And then performance here is my W3 total cash, which you see right here. And that's it. That's a quick tour of WordPress. While it may not seem user friendly, it really is a great tool and one of the best ones to build your blog or create a website or, or something like that. What I don't want you to do is have a goal, have a mission, and really be excited about getting your message or your art out to the world and then get caught up with the tools. So that's a quick overview. If you would like for me to help you build a website, I can do that. If you would like me to build it for you or answer some questions, uh, I would be more than happy to do that. Here's a link it's where you can connect with me and contact me to help you build or set up your WordPress site or partner with you to help you do that. I'm your coach, Ellery Wells. Thank you for choosing What's Next Blogging. Now go out there and change the world.